into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4. And I hope you know how to multiply your fraction. Hello everyone, today we will discuss one of the important topic of your exam UPSC CSEC and that topic is exponents and rules of exponents, ok. So, first of all, we will discuss what are the exponents and then we will talk about the rules of exponents, ok. So, let us say start with the exponent. So, sir, let us say you have any number, any number, let us say I am taking that number as 2. And sir, multiply that number how many times by 6 times, ok. Ok, you can say how can you write it then 2 into 2 into 2, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times. And when you multiply it, you will get 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. That value is 64. Now sir, again let us take another number, let us say 3. And now multiply it how many times? let us say 4 times. So, that will be what? 9, 27 and this is 81, ok. Similarly, let us say take any number 1 by 4 and multiply it 3 times. So, you can say 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 and I hope you know how to multiply your fractions, yes. Just multiply your numerators. So, when you multiply your numerator, so you will get this and multiply your denominators, ok. So, that will be 1 upon 4 4 is a 16 and that 16 into 4 is 64, ok. So, answer is 1 by 64, ok. Basically, that is the exponent, ok. When you multiply a number by itself, ok, that is under your exponents, got it. So, sir, you can write this thing in the shorter form that is 2 to the power 6, ok. 2 to the power 6 means you are multiplying 2 how many times? 6 times, ok. Similarly, you can write this as what? Just tell me that is 3 raised to power 4, yes. And the last one how can you write it? You can say that is 1 by 4 raised to power 3, getting it? Now, you know what is the meaning of these things? ok. So, now sir here we have two numbers one is here. So, that number is known as what that number is known as base that is known as base and this number is known as what this number is known as exponent or power you can say or sometimes you can say index ok. So, you can say 1 by 4 power 3. So, 1 by 4 is the base. 3 is the exponent. Similarly, here 3 is the base, 4 is the exponent, 2 is the base and 6 is the exponent, ok. So, let us say if we have one question here that says if you have number 5 raised to power 12. Now, what is the base? 5 is the base, yes. 5 is what? 5 is a base and 12 is what? 12 is exponent. Okay, that is exponent, clear. So, now we know what is the meaning of base, what is the exponent, clear. Now, sir, now let us start with the rules of exponent, okay. Some rules of your exponent, okay, rules of the exponents. So, let us start with that rules of exponents. Okay, rules of exponent. So, sir, let us say if you have first one, first rule, x raised to power m into x raised to power n. So, that is what? That is equal to x raised to power m plus n. Okay, x raised to power m into x raised to power n, that is x raised to power m plus n. Meaning is, First of all here observe base must be same. If your bases are different then you cannot apply this one ok. Whenever bases are same 
then x power m into x power n is what x power m plus n getting it so i am giving you a uh, idea of this thing why this one is true for example let's say you have 2 power 5 into 2 power 3 so when you open it so you can say that is 2 into 2 how many times five times and now you are multiplying this one how many times two three more times yes so total how many times you have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so that can be written as 2 power 8 which is nothing but that is 5 plus 2 power 5 plus 3 yes clear okay next one second rule second rule is you can say x raised to power m divided by x raised to power n okay x raised to power m divided by x raised to power n that is x raised to power m minus n obviously here you cannot take x as zero why because x is in the denominator and if x is zero so that will become zero denominator and we know it cannot be zero okay that's why we are taking x is non zero clear x power m minus n again 2 power 5 upon 2 power 3 when you do it you will get what just cancel three factors yes from your numerator so you will get 2 power 2 so you will get this thing yes 5 minus 3 got it so that is uh, x power m minus n which is equal to x power m upon x power n okay third one third one that is x raised to power m raised to power n that is x raised to power m into n x raised to power m into n okay so sir, let's discuss this one for example for example let's say you have 2 raised to power 3 and raised to power 2 okay let's discuss this one 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 so meaning of this thing is what that says 2 raised to power 3 into 2 raised to power 3 because of this yes and now sir you know 2 raised to power 3 is what 2 3 times and here also that is 2 3 times so total how many times you have 6 times yes so 2 raised to power 6 which is 3 into 2 you can say yes so that will become what x raised to power m into n base must be same otherwise you cannot apply it okay x raised to power m into x raised to power n is equal to x raised to power m plus n x raised to power m divided by x raised to power n which is x raised to power m minus n where x is non zero okay and next one is x raised to power m whole to the power n that is x raised to power m into n okay fourth property fourth property that is Sir, x raised to power zero. That is one. Whenever x is non-zero, you can uh, find this thing very easily. Put m and n same. So when you put m and n same, so denominator and numerator both are same. So you can cancel it. It is one. And x raised to power n minus n is zero. So you'll get x power zero is one, where x is non-zero. Okay. Very simple. Fifth one is fifth one is x raised to power minus one, which is what? Which is one by x. Where sir x is not equal to zero, okay? How can you do that? Put m as zero, n as one. So that is x power zero, which is one divided by x power one is x, and this is x power zero minus one, which is minus one. Clear? Okay. Next one, sixth rule. Okay, these are the important one. Next is sixth. That says. X raised to power minus n that can be written as what you know that can be written as x power minus one into n yes x raised to power minus one into n that is x power minus n so you can say that is x raised to power minus one whole to the power n and x raised to power minus one that is one by x to the power n yes so that is what that is 1 by x into 1 by x into how many times n times and you know how to multiply this fraction 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 divided by x into x into x into x into x that is x power 
ओके सो ऑब्वियसली एक्स पावर माइनस एन इज दिस वन देन दिस वन वन बाई एक्स पावर एन देन दिस वन एंड दिस वन एंड ऑब्वियसली एक्स केन नॉट बी जीरो Okay, because if it is in the denominator, so it will create a problem. Yes, so that is my x power minus n, which is one by x raised to power n. Getting it? Okay. So next one is okay. You can do with one more. You can say uh, uh, method that is you can say x power minus n. Na? So you can say this is x power n into minus one. so you can say that is x power n to the power minus 1 so you can say that is 1 by x raised to power n okay obviously x can not be zero okay, that's also the valid one clear so let's discuss the next one that is the seventh property seventh property that says if you have x into y to the power m so you can say that is x power m into y power okay for example okay for this one let's take example here let's say you have 6 raised to power 7 uh, let's take a smaller number let's take it 4 6 power 4 so you can say what is that this is 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 4 times 6 can be written as 2 into 3 2 into 3 2 into 3 and again for the next 6 you can say 2 into 3 So here you can observe two. How many times? One, two, three, four times. Yes, two power four. Three. How many times? Again, four times. Yes. And if you observe your six, six is what? Six can be written as two into three. Okay, x into y. Okay, so x y. This is x y. Six power four can be written as two into three power four. Which is equal to two power four and three power four. So you can say, sir, here x y power m gives you what? X power m into y power m. Clear? Next one. Next eight. That is x by y raised to power m. That will give you what? X power m divided by y power m. Obviously, here y cannot be zero. Okay, y cannot be Zero because it is in the denominator. In the similar manner, you can prove it. Yes. And next one is ninth one. That is x by y power minus m. That will be what? That is you can say x by y power minus one whole to the power m. So you can say x by y power minus one is what? That is reciprocal of it, and which is y by x. Okay, and whole to the power m. So you can say that is y power m upon x power m. And in this case, x and y both are non-zero. Yes, both are non-zero. Getting it? So x by y power minus m. That is x by y power minus one whole to the power m. And this is meaning of this one. X by y power minus one. Okay, that is y by x. So y power m, x power m because of the Seventh property. So x and y both are what? Both are non-zero. So finally, x by y power minus m is y power m divided by x power m. Getting it? Okay. If you have confusion here, so let's discuss this one also. X by y power minus one. So you can say that is one by x by y. Yes. And you know the property of your uh, fractions. That is, that will become y by x. Yes. Multiplying here. so it will become y by x okay and you are putting here clear so now sir these are some more properties so you can say sir our properties are x power m into x power n is x power m plus n x power m divided by x power n is x power m minus n x is non zero x power m to the power n that is x power m into n x power zero is one x must be non zero x power minus one that is one by x x must be non zero next one is x power minus n that is 1 by x power n x must be non zero x into y power m is x power m y power m x by y power m is x power m upon y power m and x by y power minus m is what that is y power m upon x power m clear okay so next property okay that is 10th one now 10th property okay 10th property
नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ या टेंथ प्रॉपर्टी सो यू कैन से सर वी हैव वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज वेन एवर यू हैव दिस सिंबल something x and here you have some n okay in this symbol if you have n here so that is known as or this is equal to x power 1 by n okay when you have x and this n so this is known as nth root of x okay nth root of x so that is x power 1 by n remember that thing x power 1 by n very very important okay x power 1 by n so for example if i am writing here for example if i am saying let's say 3 here that is what that is x power 1 by n okay remember that one let's say x and this is 5 here so that means x power 1 by 5 clear x power 1 by 5 but sir very special thing for the square root if you remember yes in your childhood you know that how can you write your square root you have to take the note here that is x power 1 by 2 so you can write like this root x only or you can say that is x and you can write just 2 here okay so either you write 2 or there is a, no need to write here 2 for this square root of x okay this is for this only If you have any other number, then you have to put that number here. If you have three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So otherwise, this is root x. If you have nothing here, so it means that is two you have here, which is x power one by two. Clear? That is x power two, which is root x, x and two in that symbol here. Okay? So very very important thing. Okay? If you have n and this, so it means nth root of x. and the meaning is in terms of exponent that is x power 1 by n clear okay. so sir these are some properties of our exponent okay important properties of exponent now you can now you can say uh, put many more properties here for example let's say if i am saying if i am saying this thing you can write this as this one now sir you can do these things using your all the previous properties okay so there is no need to remember so much data here so whenever you have this kind of situation so apply your previous uh, nine properties you can say nine or 10 properties so sir your left hand side if you observe yes if you have if you observe your left hand side so that is this one a and n here and this raised to power n getting it so you know that is what that is a power 1 by n whole to the power m and this is what we already know that is a power m into 1 by n and this is what this is sir a raised to power m by n okay you can say this is what this is a raised to power m and this raised to power 1 by n so you can say sir this is a raised to power m and that to the power 1 by n so you can write like that yes so this is your right hand side got it so that's the important thing yeah so you can define many more properties using that okay so i hope now things are clear what is the meaning of exponent what is the meaning of rules of your exp or sorry what are the rules of the exponents okay some important rules of your exponent are here got it and this one is very important the nth root of x that is x power 1 by n you can say okay and you can define many more properties using these nine so on the basis of this let's try two questions of your 
UPSC C set PYQs. Okay, that is from 2020. That is from 2020. And now read the question. Question says. What is the largest number among the following? Largest number. So, first of all, 1 by 2 power minus 6. So, that can be written as what? You can say 1 by 2 power minus 6. That can be written as 1 by 2 power minus 1 to the power 6. Okay, meaning of this is what? That is 2. 1 by 2 reciprocal of 1 by 2 power minus 1. 1 by 2 power minus 1 or 1 by x power minus 1 tells you the reciprocal of that number. Okay, so that will be what? That will be 2 and this is 2 power 6. Yes, this will be what? This will be 2 and this is 2 power 6. 2 power 6 means 2 into 2 into 2, how many times? 6 times. So, what is that? 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. Getting it? Second option, 1 by 4 power minus 3. So, that is 1 by 4 power minus 1 to the power 3. So, that will be what? That is 4 power 3. 4 power 3 is what? 4 into 4 into 4. So, that is again 64. Yes, next is 1 by 3 power minus 4. That is 1 by 3 power minus 1 whole to the power 4. So, that will be what? This is 3 power 4 which is 81. We already know 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, 81. Next one is 1 by 6 power minus 2. That is when you simplify, so you can see 6 power 2 which is 36. Now, we have all the values of of uh, all the op uh, you have values of your all the options yes so first one is 64 second is 64 81 and 36 which one is the largest so you can say largest is this one yes 81 is the largest among all the numbers so you can say 81 represent 1 by 3 power minus 4 so c is the correct one very simple question okay now sir one more question based on that okay from your again PYQs that is from 2022 okay so question says which number amongst these number is the smallest one okay so first one is 2 power 40 next is 3 power 21 next is 4 power 18 next is 8 power 12 so, first of all, okay, you know 4 is what? First of all, change that 4 power 18. In terms of 2, you can write, yes. You know 4 power 18 is nothing but that is 2 into 2, that is 4 and this to the power 18. So, you can say this is 2 power 18 into 2 power 18 and this will be 2 power 36. And similarly, 8 power 12 is what? 8 power 12, that you can say. 2 into 2 into 2 to the power 12. Okay. Now, I am using the different one. So, you can say 2 power 3 to the power 12. So, you can say 2 power 3 into 12 which is 2 power 36. Okay. Here, I am using two different methods. You can choose any one of them. Okay. So, 2 power 36, 2 power 36. So, my numbers are what? My numbers are 2 power 40, 3 power 21, 2 power 36. 2 power 36. Okay. Now you have to check which one is the smallest one. Okay, sir. So, sir, among these three, you can find very easily. Yes. That says here you are multiplying 2 power 236 times 236 times. So, these two numbers are same. Yes. Okay. When you uh, uh, write in the decreasing one, obviously here you are multiplying 236 times and here 40 times. So, that number is the bigger one. So, you can say 2 power 40 is greater than 2 power 36 which is 4 power 18 let us say and that is equal to what? 8 power 12. So, this one is clear. Okay. Now, sir, but problem is where? Problem is in this one because here the base is different. Okay. Base is different. So, you can say in this 
you have to observe like that 3 power 21 you have okay and on that side you have 2 power 36 and 40 2 power 40 yes so now sir if you take 2 power 36 and you are saying that can be written as 2 power 5 okay why i am writing like that that's also important so just observe powers of 3 you know 3 power 1 is 3 3 power 2 is 9 3 power 3 is 27 so you can say 3 power 3 that is 27 and say 2 power 5 you know that is 32 2 into 2 5 times that is 32 yes and why I am choosing these numbers because sir you can break your 21 like this 3 power 3 to the power 7 yes 3 to the power 3 and whole to the power 7 okay and sir you can say 3 power 3 is what that is less than what 2 power 5 3 power 3 is 27 and you know that is less than 32 yes 27 is what 27 is less than 32 now sir if you take the power 7 if you multiply 7 times so again you are getting this this relation 27 27 27 27 7 times and 32 32 32 32 7 times so obviously that is bigger one so you can say this pro, this value is what 3 power 21 and that is less than 2 power 35 yes or no 3 power 21 is less than 2 power 35 and we know 2 power 35 is what 2 power 35 is less than 2 power 36 because you are multiplying one more 2 ok so you can say 3 power 21 is what 3 power 21 is less than this so 3 power 21 is 3 power 21 is less than 2 power 36 means these two numbers so sir this is the bigger one these are equal okay and this is the smallest one here your question was you have to find the number uh, which is the smallest one so 3 power 21 that's your answer okay so this is all about your law of exponents exponents and some questions based on that exponent okay so, this is enough for that video. In the next video, we will discuss one more interesting topic which is very, very important for your exam. Okay. So, till then, thank you everyone. Bye-bye.